So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's called Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and it's based on a book called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, uh, so we're doing like a spin on it, making Willy Wonka the main character? No, the main character is this kid called Charlie. So why are we- I don't know. Well, okay then. So anyway, we meet Charlie, and he's working a job while all these other kids are having a great time in a candy store with the candy man. Oh, they're buying candy from him? No, he's just kind of throwing it at them, just kind of giving it out. Oh, yeah, pretty weird business model. Yeah, so anyway, Charlie goes home and sees his mom, who's taking taking care of his four grandparents that have been stuck in their communal bed for like 20 years. What? What are you talking about? You know how when you're a kid, your four grandparents live in the same bed and never get out because they're too old? Oh, I don't think that's a thing. That sounds super unsanitary. Yeah, all they do is complain and eat cabbage soup all day. Oh god, I can't imagine what those sheets must smell like. Not great, I imagine. So anyway, then we're gonna find out that this guy Willy Wonka, who owns a candy factory, is having this big contest. Oh, what's the contest? Well, he's hidden some golden tickets in some candy bars, and whoever finds them gets a tour of the factory. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, so everybody in the world just starts going crazy, like everybody's looking for these things. And who ends up finding them? Well, there's this girl, Violet, who loves chewing gum. There's a boy named Mike TV who loves TV. There's a boy named Augustus Gloop who likes to eat. And there's a girl named Veruca Salt who's, you know, Satan. Oh, she is. She's a spoiled little demon child for sure. And Charlie really wants to find a ticket, but his family doesn't have money, so they can't really buy chocolate. Bummer. And then his mom is gonna sing a song called Cheer Up, Charlie. Oh, we have musical numbers. Sometimes. Well, okay then. People do enjoy the occasional song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not this one, though. Oh. Yeah, pretty much everybody's gonna hate this one forever. Okay. Anyway, eventually Charlie ends up finding the ticket, and he gets to bring somebody with him. How's oh, so who does he bring with him? His hard-working mom? Nope, he's gonna bring his Grandpa Joe. Haven't all his grandparents been bedridden for two decades? They sure have, but Grandpa Joe's gonna be so excited, he's gonna get out of bed and start dancing around. What? Yeah, he's so excited, he can't wait to go. You're saying all it took for him to get out of bed was the opportunity to go eat some free candy? That's right. What about when Charlie was born and the mom had to raise a child by herself? Nope, he didn't. That wasn't enough for him to get out of bed. What about trying to get a job so they don't have to eat cabbage soup all the time? So he's gonna dance around, he's gonna sing a song about how he has a golden ticket. He doesn't- Charlie has the golden ticket. Well, that's Grandpa Joe for you. Oh, Grandpa Joe's a monster. Is he the bad guy or something? No, he's one of the good guys. Ew, if you say so. Anyway, so then they head to the Wonka factory. And how does that go? Well, they see Willy Wonka and he pretends to need a cane, but then he does a little roll so it's very fun. Oh, because people think he can't walk well, but then he can. Exactly. And so this way, the audience never knows if he could be trusted. Oh, so this guy is a little sketchy. Oh, definitely. Not as sketchy as Grandpa Joe, though. So then they start the tour, and they see all kinds of weird rooms inside this factory. Wow, 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 wow. And there's this massive chocolate river with a waterfall. Sounds delicious. Yeah, it looks like diarrhea, though, for sure. Oh, no. Then that kid, Augustus Gloop, he's gonna start drinking out of the chocolate diarrhea river, and he's gonna fall right in. Uh-oh, so what does Wonka do? Not much. He just kind of stands there. He says there's nothing to be done about it now. Oh, what does that mean? Well, the kid gets sucked up into this tube, and then the pressure shoots him out into a different room. My god, is he okay? Unclear, but then these little creatures called Oompa Loompas start dancing and singing about how this kid had it coming. What? Yeah, they got a whole song and dance ready for this exact situation. Very strange. So then everybody gets on this little boat, and it's super cute, and it has just the right number of seats for them. Does that mean that Wonka knew that one of the kids wasn't gonna make it out of that room? That's certainly one way to interpret it, sir. Ew, very dark. Yeah, and then they go through this tunnel on a little boat ride. Oh, well, that's fun. That'll kind of counterbalance the extremely dark thing you just alluded to. And the tunnel is dark, and images start getting projected on the walls, millipedes crawling on people's faces, chickens being beheaded. What? And Wonka just stares at everybody, and he's speaking in an increasingly loud voice. What is going on? He's singing about how not a speck of light is showing, so the danger must be growing. Are the fires of hell a-glowing? Is the grizzly reaper mowing? Please stop. And then he ends the song with a big scream, and everyone Everyone's sitting there shocked at what they just witnessed. Oh my god. So anyway, then they head into the next room. Well, wait, what the hell was that about? I don't know. So then in the next room, they get these everlasting gobstopper things, which look very uncomfortable to eat. Okay. And Violet eats some gum that she's not supposed to, and it makes her turn into a massive blueberry. I mean, she just fills up with juice. She fills up with juice? And so the Oompa Loompas have to roll her into another room and juice her, or she's gonna explode. She might explode? Only if the Oompa Loompas don't juice her, and then they do another song and dance specific to this very situation. When did they write and rehearse these things and how did they know they were gonna play out like this? Unclear. So then they all get to try out some lickable wallpaper and let me tell you, Grandpa Joe gets pretty nasty with his tongue on that thing. Ugh. And then they go into another room and they see the stuff called fizzy lifting drinks, but Wonka tells them they can't have any because it's not ready. Okay. But then when everybody leaves the room, Grandpa Joe is like, hey Charlie, everybody's gone. No one's watching. Let's have some. Oh, this freaking guy. Are you sure he's not the bad guy in this thing? He might be. So then they 
start floating up towards this big ceiling fan, and it seems like they're gonna get chopped up by it. Oh, yeah, gonna be tough to get out of that situation. Actually, it's gonna be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, they just start burping a whole lot, and that makes them float back down to the ground. Oh, solving problems by burping is tight. Yeah, it is. So then what happens? Well, Mike TV gets turned all miniature, and Veruca falls down a garbage chute that leads to a furnace. Oh, this place is a death trap. Well, we're gonna imply that maybe the kids didn't die, so. Oh, okay. You know, they're all definitely on a path to excruciating death, but maybe they're not gonna get there. I guess that's reassuring. Anyway, so eventually Wonka's gonna be super mad at them about the fizzy lifting drink situation, and he tells them to go home. Oh, well, that's probably the safest thing for them anyway. But then Charlie's gonna give back the everlasting gobstopper, so Wonka's gonna be super happy. Oh, why is that? Well, he had set up this whole thing where his employee posed as a competitor and promised all the kids money if they gathered information on that candy as a test. Oh, so Charlie's being honest. Okay, that's nice. It is nice. So then Wonka takes Charlie and Grandpa Joe into a magical elevator that shoots up all the way into the sky. Yeah, that also sounds extremely unsafe. Definitely, and so Wonka's gonna be like, good news, Charlie, I'm giving you the factory, it's yours. What? Yeah, Charlie's in charge of a factory now, and Grandpa Joe's gonna be like, what about me? Can I live there too? Ugh, of course he says that. Yeah, okay, he is the worst. So, 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 so Charlie's like the CEO of a major corporation now? I guess so, because Wonka said he didn't want to leave the factory to a grown-up, so he had to give it to a child. What happens when Charlie's no longer a child in just a couple years? Unclear, so what do you think? Well, you know, I think it sounds like a pretty good horror movie. Oh no, this is a kid's movie. Oh, it is? Yeah, this is for kids, this is for the little humans. But what about all the horrifying stuff all throughout the movie? I don't know. What about that tunnel scene where he's yelling about hellfire and flashing disturbing images? Oh, well, those images are gonna fly by so fast, I don't think anyone's gonna know what's actually happening. Okay, well, I guess it's good that there's not really any technology for people to watch these movies at home and slow them down and rewatch that scene. Oh uh, yeah, hopefully that never exists, or I imagine somebody would make a list of all the disturbing stuff we're gonna shove in there. Hello, it's Ryan here. Thanks for watching that video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button and the button button and the whatever other buttons. Not, not the dislike. That's a bad button. You could also leave me a comment telling me what other movies you want to see pitches for. As always, check back soon for a new one. See you guys on the next video. Bye bye.